my son was shot and killed for breaking into a car. I don't know why he was shot and killed for a petty crime. That was Ronald Elizondo Sr. talking about the death of his 17-year-old son, Ronald Elizondo Jr. He was shot and killed by an off-duty state trooper last year. And the Elizondo family has now filed a wrongful death lawsuit against the trooper and the Department of Public Safety. His parents spoke with our Greg Chandler today about their loss and their lawsuit. And a word of caution here, some folks may find some of the video in this story disturbing. Here's Greg. Nano Elizondo's parents say the goal of their lawsuit is accountability for the man who killed their son. I have not seen the video. I'll never see the video. The video is hard to watch. Off-duty DPS trooper Donald Hynote finds Elizondo in a car on the street, hey, get out of there. startles him, and shoots Elizondo four times as he tries to run away. What he was doing out that night is a question I'm asked every day by my friends. I have no idea what he was doing out that night. We didn't know. Ronald Elizondo Sr. and his wife Teresa still can't believe their youngest son is gone. He was very energetic, very athletic, and always a jokester, always pulling pranks on, on his brothers, on me. He was a go-getter. He was always working hard to earn money. Nano worked for his father at the El Cruz Tennis Center. Their last conversation was Nano asking for a raise. And I said, no, you're going to go to college. That's how you're going to get more money. He said, he looked at me with a sad face, OK, Dad. That's the last time I seen him. He stayed up till 1 in the morning with my wife. High note shot Elizondo just before 1.30. The Nueces County District Attorney's Office says earlier video shows Elizondo in High Note's truck in the driveway. A grand jury chose not to indict High Note, who wasn't charged. His father says Nano was a good kid who made a mistake. I'm sure this will be a long process. We hope for a fair process. The Elizondo's attorney says Nano shouldn't have had to pay for that mistake with his life. There were a lot of things that trooper could have done prior to pulling the trigger four times, acting like judge, jury, and executioner there in the middle of the night. Just why? We are hurting so much. We didn't have to do it. The lawsuit was filed last week and assigned to the 347th District Court. The court manager didn't know when either High Note or DPS would be served. In Corpus Christi, Greg Chandler, Chris 6 News. And there's been no comment so far from the Department of Public Safety regarding Trooper High Note or the Elizondo's lawsuit.